tutorial, I'll be showing you how to begin the Lacy Spring Cardigan. I'm using Sugarbush Yarns Cabot, which is a blend of Pima Cotton and Linen. And I'll be working with the teal color for this tutorial. I'll be using a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. And we'll start out with a chain of 39. And once you've completed your chain, we're going to work single crochet stitches for our band. So one single crochet in the second chain from the hook and work a single crochet into every chain across. So we'll have a total of 38 chains. Okay, so I've worked all the way across. And now for rows two through four, you're just doing the same thing. So we want four rows in total of single crochet. So chain one and turn, and then we're just working one single crochet in every stitch across. So you wanna make sure that you have 38 stitches in total. And I'm gonna complete my four rows and then I'll meet you up. Okay, so I have my four rows worked. Now we're gonna start into our stitch pattern. So we're gonna chain three. Our chain three counts as one stitch here and throughout. So we're gonna skip our chain three space stitch right here, as well as the next two. So three in total that we're skipping. And then we're gonna work three treble, so yarn over twice. There's one, yarn over twice. So three treble, a chain two, and one double crochet all in the same stitch. I don't think that pulled through right. So that's all in one stitch. And then we're gonna skip three stitches, one, two, three, and we're gonna repeat that. So yarn over twice, go in the stitch, chain two, and we'll work a double. And then we skip three and continue in this pattern all the way across. Okay, so I've worked that across until I have two stitches remaining. And then we're gonna work a treble in the final stitch. And this is how that should look. So in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, we'll just call them clusters. So nine times four stitches for each cluster is 36 stitches, plus our first stitch and last treble here is a total of 38 stitches. So now for row two, we will chain three. And now we're working in the chain two spaces. So we're making the same clusters that we've been making, but they're just all gonna be in the chain two spaces now. So we'll work our three trebles one, two, three, chain two, and a double. And then we'll skip over to the next chain two space and do the same thing. Chain two 
and one double. So I'm going to work those all the way across. Okay, so I've worked that across and then when we get to the end here in our turning chain, we'll work one treble. And that's row two and this is how it should be looking. So now what we're going to do is repeat row two through rows three through eight. So rows three through eight, we'll just repeat row two and then at row nine, we'll begin the increased rows. So I'm going to complete this off camera and then I'll meet you up. Okay, so I've completed my eight rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're going to begin the increase rows. So we'll chain three and turn. And in the first stitch, we're going to work two trebles. Chain two and one double crochet. So that's going to be increasing now. And in the next chain two space, we're going to do the same pattern we've been working. So three trebles. chain two and a double crochet. So we'll work that across and then I'll meet you at the end to show you the final increase. Okay, so when we get to the end in the turning chain, instead of working just a treble, we're now going to work our cluster pattern. So we'll work three trebles. And then chain two and one double. Okay, so and if you want to know how many stitches in total, now we have 11 clusters going across. So 11 times four stitches is 44. So now our next row will chain three, turn, and in our first chain two space, we'll work three trebles. chain two and a double okay so now in each of our chain two spaces across we're going to work our cluster and then at the end, we'll end with just one treble in the turning chain. Okay, so I've worked all the way across. Now this row, we have our 11 clusters plus our starting chain three and our ending treble in the turning chain. So now we have 46 stitches. And we're gonna repeat this row one more time. Okay, so now we've worked the first three rows of the increase pattern. And what I want you to do is repeat these three rows three more times. So rows four through 12, you're repeating these three rows. So just to get you started again, we'll chain three, turn, and in that first stitch, we're working up the cluster. So work two more. chain two and a double crochet and then in every chain two space across work our cluster and then in the turning chain another cluster to increase this row okay so I've been working away at my sleeve and I have my increased rows all complete so in total from here all the way up I have 20 rows so now I'm back to my right side. And if you want, you can just add a stitch marker here, just so you know this is your right side. 
added one here and then we just know this is the right side of our work. So now what we're going to do is start working the front and back panels and they're going to come out from the sleeve because we're working this from the side across. So we're going to begin working the back panel. So I'm joining back on and I'm going to chain out 68. Our 68 chains we're gonna work a treble in the sixth chain from the hook so one two three four five six so yarn over twice work a treble work another treble chain two and a double all in the sixth chain from the hook. Now we're going to jump right into our pattern. So we're going to skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and then in the next chain, we're just going to get into our cluster pattern. So three trebles, one, two, three and then we'll chain two and work a double. We'll skip three chains and we'll do the same thing in the next chain and you're just going to work this all the way across and then I'm going to meet you up. Okay so now if your chain is really pulling too tight you want to make sure that you make your start that chain really loose. If it's looking weird you might want to redo it even if you have to chain it with a larger hook sometimes that works better and now we've worked all the way across to we have you should have two chains here remaining then in the next chain two space we're gonna work our three trebles chain two and a double. And I'm gonna continue working across in my chain two spaces till I get to the other side and then we're gonna chain out again for our front Just panel. Just getting to the end and we're working a treble in that turning chain. Now, just like we did for the back, we need to chain out 68 for the front panel. And again, remember to keep those chains loose. Okay, and now in the sixth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're working two trebles, chain two, and a double. So now we'll work all the way across the chain. You should have two chains remaining and then we'll work into that chain two space. And then we're going all the way across and all the way across the back panel. So once you complete row two, you're just gonna continue working front and back panel sleeve the whole section until you have measuring from the front panel about 12 inches. So once you have that, the lace pattern is complete, then we're just going to be working a single crochet border across. But I have a little bit of work ahead of me getting all of that lace work done. So I'm going to continue to work that off camera and then I'm going to meet you up to make that single crochet border. And so basically we're making two of these panels. So once you get this one done, you can work up the other one as well because we're just gonna work each side and then we're gonna seam up the back together and then your cardigan will be complete. So it's a really simple, easy construction with a really great loose fit. So I'm gonna continue that now and then I'll meet you up when I have my panels complete. Okay, so I've worked up a total of 18 rows and 
If you measure it on the end, it should be about 12 inches. Now blocking is gonna help to stretch all this out, but if you measure sort of in here, it won't look like it's quite 12, but if you go out to the end, it should be about 12 inches, but 18 rows and we're ending on the right side. So we'll begin the band on the wrong side of our work here. I'm just gonna join back on, chain one and turn. So now what we're doing is we're working in every stitch across. We're not gonna work in the chain two space. We're just working in the stitches. So this stitch, this stitch, and then we skip over that chain two and work into now the three trebles. And then we work the double and the three trebles. So you're gonna have a total of 198 stitches. So I'm gonna work that all the way across. So we'll just work, once we finish this row of single crochet, we're gonna work three more rows. So we're gonna have a total of four rows of single crochet that's gonna border this entire edge all the way across, so 198 stitches. So I'm gonna work my four rows off camera and then I'm gonna have this panel complete and you wanna do an identical panel for the other side and do the same thing. And then I will show you how we're gonna seam this up. Before we seam it though, we will block the pieces. So I'll actually meet you back up uh, for the blocking tutorial to show you how to block the piece. Okay, so I just wanted to show you here my blocking mats. I have about seven here laid out and I've just wet my piece and pinned it all to the measurements. And I'll have a pop-up that will show you the measurements for pinning your piece to. Okay, so I've blocked my panels and when I blocked them, I made sure the front and the back panels were the same uh, length. So they're 12 and a half inches wide. So I've put my right sides facing and I've marked with my stitch marker, I've counted 99 stitches and I've marked that with a marker. That's the halfway point. Now what we're going to do is just seam up the back panel. Okay, so I've cut a long piece of yarn and I'm taking my yarn needle. So I have my right sides facing and now what we're going to do is just sew through each stitch. So I'll pull the yarn all the way through, leaving a tail. And then I'll knot that to start. And just as you go, make sure you're going through one stitch on each side and then you know you'll be seaming it up even to the marker. So we're just going like this. So I'm going to just sew all this off camera and I'll meet you when we get to the marker. Okay, so I finished seaming this all the way up to the marker and then I just knotted it off and um, I just weaved in the end. So now I've just folded it so again the right sides are facing and you want to match up your sides and your sleeve. So I'm going to start at the bottom, taking a long piece of yarn again, I'm 
float through leaving a tail for weaving. And I'm just going to knot this to start. And as you go, what you want to do is make sure that you're matching up your stitch pattern so you can see the clusters are together, the chains are together. So as you sew this, just make sure that you're sewing it up evenly so that it lines up really well. So when you have a chain, I'm just going through one stitch each on each side of that chain. So what you want to do is work that all the way right down to the end of your sleeve and then do the other side as well. So I'm going to sew these together off camera and then I'll meet you up for that bottom edging. Okay, so I have the sweater all seamed. So this is how it looks. You can see I've lined everything up well. So now what we're going to do is the edging. So I have currently my right side facing. So in order to do four rows, the original pattern I just had three and I joined on the right side, but this time I'm gonna do that I have four rows so it's the same as the rest of the edging. So I'm gonna actually join to the wrong side. Okay, so this is my right, this would be my front right. So I'm just flipping it so that I'm on the wrong side and I'm gonna join in here. So we should have four single crochets going across this band area. And every time you get to these big spaces, we're going to put three single crochet. So it's either our chain three or a treble and we're just putting and we're just going to do that all the way right over to the side. And then we're gonna do a total of three more rows so that we have four rows in total. So I'm putting three single crochet in all of our big spaces here. And that should have it come out pretty even around the bottom. Okay, so I've worked all the way to this side, so I'm going to chain one and turn. And now rows two through four will all be the same. We're just working one single crochet in every stitch. Now that the single crochets are established, it's really easy to just whip along and complete your rows. And it just gives the bottom a more finished look. So I'll complete those off camera. And then we'll, I'll meet you back up and we can add a garment tag just to finish it off. Okay, so I've finished my fourth row and I'm just going to fasten off. and weave in these ends. Okay, so to finish it off, you can add a personalized garment tag. And then what I'm also gonna do is steam all of the seams and just steam the garment just so it gives it a nice finish. 
So these tags are from brickbubble.ca. You can get customized tags. Um, they can also design them for you. You can get ones that sew on or just the style that you can just snap in place and that can just get hammered together. So that's everything. So this, it's now finished. I'm just gonna steam it to finish it off. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel to stay updated on new videos and tutorials. Thank you.